Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of Geeking Out with Code Story. My name is Peter. I'm one of the engineers working on the Arco Grinder project. And actually, I was answering some of your questions under the Kickstarter campaign. Okay, so the most common question was about the birth and the resolution of settings, the spacing within birds, etc. Um, we answered a lot of your questions in the Kickstarter campaign, but it's really uh, important to uh, help ourselves with a visual aid so you can understand what we are talking about. Okay, so these are our birds. Uh, they are made by Ethel Mill. There was a lot of speculation if they're like special uh, made by us. Well, they are made by Ethel Mill and they're used uh, in some premium uh, hand grinders. We chose these birds. Uh, because they have a fast espresso grind, but also a quality cold brew grind at the same time. Uh, they're really small, so uh, you couldn't really see uh, what, I was what I'm talking about on, uh, in my hands. So I made a cross section on the whiteboard so I can s explain something about the geometry. Uh, the geometry of a burr is actually pretty complicated, uh, otherwise everyone could make them. Uh, there are a lot, uh, there's a lot of 3D ge geometry, cavities, etc. Um, there's, for, for example, there's the feeding part, the cavity part that does the bulk of the grinding, and the calibration part, the last uh, three or four millimeters of the burr. Uh, we're gonna simplify this geometry by taking this cavity away so I can explain something about uh, uh, how the calibration works. Okay, so there was a lot of uh, speculation and thoughts on the uh, bird spacing of the mills per click. Because as you know, our uh, grind, the Arco grinder is a uh, step grinder, but the steps are really small. We have 30 steps per rotation and four rotations for 120 clicks. Uh, so what do, what do these clicks mean? There was talk about uh, 33 microns. The 33 microns number is the movement of the burr in this direction per click. So this is the 33 microns. But this, this is not actually uh, directly what determines the particle size that comes through the burr, because we have to take in, into account the angles on the burrs. So if you move in this direction, whole, uh, a big amount, you actually can see that this channel between the burrs does not correspond like in the same size, but, but proportionally to this movement. And if this, is a, if this is a coffee particle, we actually have to move the, the burr this much so this can pass through, see? So it can pass through the burrs. And the movement in the 33 micron movement was a whole bunch, like six, seven, eight times the particle size that can now pass through this channel. So because of the angles on, on the burrs, this 33 micron vertical movement now means uh, a movement in the spacing of this channel of only six microns. So this is actually how much the burrs open up or close up per click, it's six microns. Let's increase this in size so you can understand that. So if we increase this channel just on the picture, we look at one burr, the other burr, this is the vertical line, this is the 33 microns line. And this, is, this would be the horizontal movement. But actually, we're not, we're not interested in either of these. We're inter interested in the perpendicular line. This is actually the width of the channel that controls how, how small the particles are ground. As you know, the Arco is a two-in-one grinder a dockable hand grinder with a motor that can power it. We got a lot of questions about the motor. Uh, yes, the motor is a high-speed motor. It spins at 15,000 RPM, but the speed is stepped down from the 15,000 RPM to 360 RPM. And this is actually, if you convert it into seconds, it's six revolutions per second. And this is in the hand grinder range. You know, you can't really spin it up by hand to six revolutions per second but maybe one or two and that's the same range uh, we had to do this to uh, take advantage of our burrs that are focused on hand grinding and also uh, it has the added benefit of not spinning so fast that it would heat up the coffee 
yes, there will be uh, two docks, one for America and one for Europe, because as you know, America has half the voltage in your plugs as Europe does. And so to keep the consistency of the grind and the power of the grinder, we have to have a special motor for the American market and a separate front for the 240 volt markets. We also got questions about the, pl the electrical plugs that Arco will come with. Uh, we are committed to offer it with European, US and UK plugs and depending on demand, we are also considering the Australian plug. There was a question about uh, locking the calibration on the, the clicks, so you, you wouldn't move it by hand when you're hand grinding. Actually, the, the clicks are quite stiff, but still nice to the feel. And also you have enough, enough room to hold it without touching the sleeve. Uh, when hand grinding, so it would not be a problem in, a, in our opinion. About grinding without the catcher, there were some questions about grinding into bigger containers, more coffee, etc. There is no uh, safety to prevent you from grinding like this without the catcher, uh, but it does help with the static if you have the catcher on, so we recommend keeping the catcher on. It has a capacity of 50 grams of coffee, which is enough we think for a single dose grinder. We are still in the final stages of development in improving the minor features on the grinder, so we are happy to hear your feedback. Uh, here's like a prototype of the latch. There were some questions about covering the hopper. This is in white. This is the top of the power dock. Um, this is the, the last iteration and now it works really perfectly, this latching mechanism that opens and closes the hopper for the grinder. So this concludes our first episode of Geeking Out with Goat Story. Join us next time when we do some grinding and sifting and show you what our grinder can do. We encourage you to send us all of your questions so we can answer them both in written form or in videos like this.